Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh kit from the new manufacturer as you can see it's Kajika and as usual you can find a review article by clicking the link in the video description below and there you will be able to read text in English and Russian and of course check detailed photos as you can see this is a new kit from Kajika company it copies Imperial Japanese Navy battle cruiser Congo in 1700 scale, it's actually the first kit from this manufacturer and it is part of the Navy model series. As you can see, boxing is quite interesting because we have this beautiful uh, painting on the front as a box art. Here you can see comparison with my hand, so it's quite a wide box and here you can take a better look at this box art. Then on one side there is a short note about the real uh, prototype and on the other side there are other kits available from this manufacturer so there is a second and a third kit already available even though as you can see we have a chance to check the first one this is a top opening box so just give me a second to open it as you can see it arrived to me slightly damaged but it was due to the tight packaging and still it survived this really rough shipment so no worries now what we have inside is an assembly manual, large hull part, then there is a lead weight and some other bonuses, we will see them further in the review. So first one is assembly manual and I think it can remind you of uh, one manufacturer which is also producing one 700 scale ships, Flyhawk. So I guess this manufacturer is related to the Flyhawk and as you can see here we have detailed assembly manual with parts map on the top here we have one and only marking option which is printed in color note that there are small marking options for all uh, live bolts which are included into this kit and of course paints chart which is given in Mr. Hobby and Tamiya paint numbers and of course simple designations I think it will be understandable to assemble and you won't have any major problems with this next we have a uh, large hull part here it is and it is packed into the sealed plastic bag, so I will need scissors in order to open it. Just give me a second. Again, I have no doubt that assembly and fitment will be excellent because this is a flyhawk and there is, uh, let's say, famous for this feature. And here you can see the whole part. As you can see, it's quite large. Here you can see comparison with my hand. And in the middle, we have some tabs, which obviously will have to be removed but otherwise molding quality is excellent and I don't see any possible problems with this next we have miner sprue which is also packed into the separate plastic bag just give me a second to open it I hope that finally uh, manufacturers will start packaging all their kits into the sealable bags but now we have what we have here you can see all life boats which should be placed on the ship I will zoom in a bit so here they are they are molded as one piece elements and again molding quality is quite impressive all this is uh, standard plastic it's not resin it's not a P it comes out of the box and it's really impressive then we have different superstructures which are packed into the separate plastic bag as well and they are quite imposing because even in 700 scale they are huge and here for example you can see the turrets here are some superstructures and here is another small frame with different superstructures again molding quality is impressive and note that those parts are molded as one piece elements which is not that let's say common feature in plastic kits Next we have another plastic sprue, this one is full of small elements, I guess here we have barrels for turrets, just give me a second to open the plastic bag, and we will take a closer look. Actually it's quite surprising that they decided to choose plastic parts instead of metal analog, but maybe the metal would increase total price of the kit, that's why it was decided to choose plastic version over the metal one and here you can see from the other side because this will be used as the top covers as far as you can guess barrels looks impressive and 
I hope that they will be easy to assemble. Next frame is also full of really thin and tender parts and it's really interesting for me how easy it will be to separate all those parts of the sprue. Why? Because here they are. As you can see they are really tiny, really thin and maybe it will be easy even to lose them in the carpet so be careful otherwise it will be difficult to find it. And here we can take a look from the other side. Next plastic frame in the separate plastic bag actually is also full of small parts for fine detailing and here it is so here we have steam tubes some rails and other thin elements as you can see they are carefully replicated in plastic I don't see any flesh, I don't see any other possible molding damage and that's quite impressive especially in such dimensions next we have more of the hull parts and they are packed into the same plastic bag so there are three panels packed together but that's not serious because I mean, they are plain and they won't be damaged during shipping so here is the first one it's quite a large part here you can see comparison with my finger especially for 1 700 scale it's, it looks impressive then we have red hull part I am not sure what it will be used for, maybe for the red element on the ship, but here it is, it's also quite big. And from the other side we have special position slot, which will help with alignment. And note that the uh, sides have reductions for easier position. And another top hull part, with all superstructures promoted. And it looks quite impressive in my opinion. From the side we have just position elements, here and here, and here as well. So again we, will, we won't have any problems with alignment. Lead weight is packed like this. This one is, should be also familiar to you if you saw Flyhawk kits. So as you can see it's packed into the back and it would come handy for the proper build. Then we have revision because you will have to cut actually some of the parts, so be careful and take this into, the, uh, into your attention, let's say. Decal sheet is packed into the separate plastic bag. Uh, it is quite simple, why? Because it contains only flags and that's why it's so small. Here you can see it. Printing quality is very good, so no complaints at all. Next we have some safety devices, brochure. Also typical stuff. And the most interesting for me at least is this separate box and I'm not sure what's inside so let's check. Oh actually there is one plastic sprue inside which is dedicated to all those tender uh, parts which should be also placed on the ship. So that's all for this video review as you can see this is a quite impressive 700 scale uh, plastic ship and I think it will look nice in assembled state. Surprisingly here is no PE parts included. Everything is molded in plastic and maybe there will be some aftermarket PE parts but I'm not sure about this. Uh, of course I will be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below. Write it there. I will be, uh, let's say, it will be interesting for me to discuss it with you. Uh, if you like this video press the like button because it will help us greatly and it will also provide us more support. Uh, for more videos and in order to get them on time subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the button and you will be subscribed to our um, fresh videos. And of course I would like to thank you for watching this video review and I will see you in the next video as usual. Bye!